Hi, sweet friends, and welcome to my weekly vlog. Laundry day, late evening of laundry hang up and a chit chat. It has been a cold, windy here in Texas. So I've been working in the house, getting all the things done. I have been working on refreshing my kitchen. I've decluttered so many things. I've bought new things to replace some of the things that I've I've gotten rid of. You know, our our kitchens, our kitchen tools, the baking ware, our pots and pans, they just get old and funky and you know, sometimes you just have to replace them. I know I've had my cooking pans for at least five years. Like my cookie sheets, they're probably 15, 17, 18 years old. They're grimy. They're just, you know, it's just not that much money to replace them. So that is what I have been working on. Decluttering, throwing things away. Um working on some donations you know some things are worth donating and some things are worth trashing so you have to know the difference <laughs> i see things that show up at the thrift store that should have been put in the trash can and um so we don't want to send things that are beyond their life to the thrift store for somebody else to deal with it is definitely okay to throw things away when they are at the end of their life throw them away and so i've gotten really good at declutter throwing things away and sending donations to the thrift store the kitchen i hope to be through with um in the next couple of days get it get it done the weather's been really cold outside so we haven't been able to be outside so it was a perfect opportunity to uh, focus on the kitchen and get that area cleaned up it was already clean I shouldn't say cleaned up but just sorted and uh, you know throw some things away and get things done um so, I think by now you will have seen my Costco haul. So, I just wanted to give you a review on some of my Costco finds. I picked up these black Skecher leggings. They're cropped $14.99. So, I always wear the Victoria's Secret ones. I have a bunch of them, different ones. They are this Victoria's Secret Sport, their knockout line. These are amazing. I really love them. They're thick. They hold you together. Um, but I haven't been able to find them. I think they discontinued that knockout line. I'm not sure what they replaced it with. But when I was at Costco, and these run in the $50, $65 range, I believe. I paid a lot of money for all those. And they have held up. I've probably been wearing them for two or three seasons now. But they had these at Costco for $14.99. And they're the same exact design. They have the side pockets side pockets are amazing if you don't have any get you some your phone can fit in one side and your credit card or your debit card can fit on the other side so they are great for thrifting and uh, just being on the go when you don't want to have to have your purse and so i didn't want to share these with you they're not as thick and um you know held together quite like those victoria knockout um tights but i think these will these will be good i want to give them a try for a couple of weeks and then maybe see if they have some different colors i can't remember if there was any different colors or if they were all the same if they were all black so 
got those. These will also be good for when we go to New England in April and it may still be cold there. And so I want some longer pants to wear while I'm there. So I got those. Next, I purchased this Neutrogena bath gel, bath shower, refreshing shower and bath gel. It is an original scent. It was originally $16.49. It was $5 off. I got it for $11.49. And it was a really nice, lightly scented and very, um, like lathered up really nice. Look how nice that bottle is. Love it. And this was 40 ounces. So that should last quite a while. But that was nice. So got that. And then another item that I got were these Bartlett pears. These were really good. really good there you know how sometimes you get dried fruit and it's like eating a like a piece of leather it's like really um really dry you can see can you see like it's still like kind of juicy it's thick these were really nice i really liked them and they were pretty cheap three dollars 97 cents for dried fruit that's a very good price so we have um, just needed to pick up a few things. I was super excited. If you watched that, you saw I got that new set of uh, pots and pans. They're really nice. I was excited for that for sure. Um, this next week, we're going into spring break. I don't know if y'all had spring break in your area, but uh, by, by the time y'all see this vlog on Saturday, spring break will almost be over. But we are going to uh, go to the zoo on Wednesday, the Houston Zoo. That's always fun. It'll be um, my daughter, my granddaughter and me, my niece, my great nephew, and my great niece is going to get to join us. And so she'll be down here in the area enjoying her spring break with her aunt. And so she's going to get to go with us and uh, that'll be a lot of fun. We go to the zoo and we pack lunches. We make a menu. Everybody brings a little bit of the menu, put it all together, and then we'll eat there in Herman Park. They have um, ducks and the ducks will come up and, you know, want a little snack and it's just a, a fun time. So that's what we're going to do that. And then on, that's on Wednesday. And then Thursday, I think we're going to go to the Texas City Outlets and uh, go go see, go do some shopping. So that's what we're doing there. And then this week, we did get our tickets for vacation, our airplane tickets. So if I think if you are planning a vacation this summer and you have the, the dates locked in, you may go ahead and start looking to to secure those tickets. I don't know if these gas prices, I'm sure have to affect, you know, airplane tickets that jet fuel has to be going up. And so we did a lock in our tickets uh, for vacation at the end of April. We wanted to get that done, uh, you know, pretty quick. And so we did lock in our tickets and we are super excited to get that, um, to get to, to the date of vacation, right? We're going to be gone for, I think, eight days. And it's going to be me and my niece and my youngest daughter. We're going to spend that, that time during our vacation. It's going to be my, my daughter's birthday and my birthday. So we'll get to spend both of our days together. And that'll just be a really good time for us. So that is it, guys. That is Laundry Chit Chat. And let's press on. It's kind of late here, so we're going to um, probably wrap today up and uh, get a shower and relax and then start again tomorrow and see what we can get into. He's enjoying him a little bit of supper. He loves his turkey meat. He's been eating it for about seven days now in the evening, and he seems to be enjoying it. Sometimes he'll just eat that top layer of meat and leave the, the
the dog food, but eventually he'll come back and eat it. It's a Monday evening. I decided I better get out here and get this yard mowed. It's kind of damp, kind of windy, a little chilly outside, but I want to get the yard mowed. It, it's got a potential to rain a little bit this weekend, so the clovers are starting to take over, so I want to make sure I keep getting them mowed down. Those clovers multiply very fast. He's out here watching over me while I mow. for the zoo and they have cosmic brownies cosmic brownies cosmic brownies cosmic brownies interesting I'm thinking these are just filling a space for things that they maybe can't get tomorrow we were headed to the zoo and I was working on gathering up some things for the zoo and then we'll have a picnic there in Herman Park so I picked out this set of napkins and plates. I have a ton of different themes left over from different parties. So I always keep them bagged up in big Ziploc bags. And so I picked out this Little Mermaid theme, plates, tablecloths, some napkins, picked out some of the little dessert plates, plenty of forks, knives, and spoons for whatever we might need. And then... I purchased the cosmic brownies to top into these little snack bags. Just a little something fun for the little kids. And I used these sandwich bags to fold over kind. Like right here, they just you just fold them over. These are like the old school baggies. And I just cut them. I cut that fold out of them. So that they can just um, be whole. I don't know how to say it. And I just cut the brownies up. Folded it over to itself. Tied it with some curly ribbon. And I trimmed off some of the top. So just something a little special to give the the littles. They're, they're little. They're uh, seven and five maybe. And uh, so I think they'll just get a kick out of that but a quick and easy little snack idea I started using this idea to make these little snack bags using these sandwich bags way back when my oldest daughter was in elementary you know you only get like 15 snack bags if you buy like the party packs and of course if you're doing something for school you need a lot more than that and those little bags can get expensive, but these sandwich bags are super cheap. And when you cut that little flap off, they're perfect for making fun little snack bags. As you had seen in the previous clip, we were planning to go to the zoo today. Last night I was prepping things for that adventure. But this morning we got on the website to purchase our tickets and they're completely sold out until 2 p.m. So we have shifted gears, if you will, and we're going to go to the Tanger Outlets there in Texas City today. And then on a Thursday, we are going to go to the zoo. I'm going to take y'all along with me and see if I can't get some fun footage today. And uh, we're just going to enjoy the day. You know, sometimes you have to flex and your plans change, but we have already purchased our tickets for the zoo first thing in the morning and so we're very confident um that that we'll make it to the zoo tomorrow although we did notice that the tickets have gone up by almost ten dollars last year we got tickets for twenty two dollars this year we got tickets thirty one dollars the outlet enjoying doing a little shopping there's the whole crew out ahead of me at Red Robin. I think I'm going to try out Red this Robin. cheesy bacon a fondue a burger. It has um, a side of cheesy bacon a fondue for dipping. So I think that sounds very delicious. This is the crew, the spring break crew. My great niece, my niece, y'all see her in a lot of videos. Great nephew coming around. My granddaughter Elizabeth and my oldest daughter Victoria. We're having a lot of fun today hanging out. It has been 
has been a day. We never made it to the zoo. The traffic going into the zoo was absolutely ridiculous. We couldn't find a parking spot. Um, it's a whole story in itself. Pull into the driveway and here, the trash people didn't even take the trash. The trash apparently fell over and everything that was supposed to go in the trash today is still sitting here in the driveway. See him so comfy cozy on his little bed. He's taking an afternoon nap. We're eating lunch in Angleton, Texas at La Casa. And I got fish tacos. They have avocado and cabbage and side of rice and beans. Today we are here at Angleton Market Days. We're gonna head in and see what kind of treasures we can find. Things that we just can't live without, you know? We're at the Angleton Market Days and I found a few things I thought I would share with you. And since it's Saturday and Market Days are open on Sunday as well, in case you are local to me and you want to head over there and maybe purchase a few items, I thought I would share this haul right here in my weekly vlog so we visited many many booths but i only bought a few things at a few booths so i'll show you what you got what i got rather picked up this string of bananas or a banana succulent and she was selling them for six dollars and i think this will be amazing in a, a macrame plant holder hanging on my porch. So I picked this up. I'm excited to get that transplanted. Next, I visited a booth called the Wiggle Butt Bakery, and it is a dog food bakery. And I picked up Oakley, a set of six dog donuts. She was selling them six for $7. So she gave me a variety pack, and I'm excited to see if he's going to enjoy these. So got those and then um we went to um a candle like wax melt booth and i picked up some items there as well first off i got two of these uh, black ice wax melts these smell amazing if you are familiar with black ice it does come in a you know the little tree car fresheners they have one that's black ice and this smells so good i'm excited oh it smells so good okay i got those i got two of those and then i have shared with you about the uh tyler or taylor candle company i can't remember which i picked their products up at hallmark i'm not sure who else distributes for them but they have a scent called high maintenance and this company has a, a one that is that although they call it woman and it smells amazing as well it smells so good so 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 good so i got that each of these wax melts are five dollars a piece and then i got me a freshie in that high maintenance woman scent and it is a butterfly so can't wait to get that hung in my car and then they had some junk drawer bags and i was you know, who doesn't love a good good junk drawer? So I said, let me give that a try. So they had these for $5 as well. So we're going to open it up here together and let's see what I got. I got one, two, three, four items in my junk drawer bag. I think that is so funny. So funny that they called that a junk drawer bag. So... First off is this little sachet. Open it up and see if I can tell what it is. I'm not sure exactly what scent that is, but it's very nice. I think I probably could put this like in a lingerie drawer and think it'll be good there. So got that. I got a vanilla bean wax melt. It looks like it has like, oh, it's got some sprinkles in it. Yeah, it's got some sprinkles in it. Vanilla bean. Nice. 
yeah not too big on vanilla guys i'm really not but it smells good okay there's this one this one is a um fruity scent I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it is definitely a fruity scent. And then I have a, a blue one. This one smells more florally. So anyway, guys, that got those. Um, yeah, we had a really good time. We we uh, it was my me and my daughter and my niece, and we did just go do a little shopping in Angleton while we were there. And then you saw we ate at Angleton La Casona. One of the other places that we visited was the Peach Street Farmers Market, and um, they were one of the vendors had these pickled um, carrots, and I love them. If these these are the like the carrots if you get like pickled jalapenos and it's got the the um the round carrots in that that's what this is so these are good for like tacos in that so i picked those up this was i believe five dollars so i got that we just had a really good day hanging out it was just us girls no kids and so we made the most of it we visited a couple of boutiques there in angleton and then um, came home and we got, got busy here at the house. So if you have enjoyed this week's vlog, please give the video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. Become part of my friends here on YouTube. And I will see each of you in my next video. Bye, guys.